Hello engineers, welcome back to Engineering Design Simplified. In this video series, I will be solving tough engineering mechanics problems. If you want to watch more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and press that bell button so that you will be notified when I upload a new video. In the previous video, we have seen case 1 where hammer and pile move together after impact. Now in this video, let us see uh, case 2 that is hammer rebounds after impacting the pile. So again, the hammer is raised to a convenient height H and freely dropped. It is guided to fall over the pile. After the hammer strikes the pile, the hammer rebounds. The kinetic energy of the pile is utilized in doing the work against resistance of the ground and the pile is driven by a distance S. Yes. By repeated hammering, the pile is driven to required depth. First, I will derive all the necessary equations. Later, towards the end of this video, I will solve a problem. So, stay until the end. First, let us derive equation to find velocity of hammer just before impact. So, initially, the hammer is raised to a height h. At this point, initial velocity of hammer u1 equal to 0 and initial velocity of pile u2 is also equal to 0. Now, after rising to a height h, the hammer is dropped freely. Just before impact, hammer reaches a velocity v1. So now let us apply uh, conservation of energy uh, equation for this hammer. So the equation is half m1 u1 square plus mg h1 equal to half m1 v1 square plus mg h2. So u1 is initial velocity and this, this portion of the equation is the kinetic energy uh, at the initial stage and this is the potential energy that is mg h1 h1 is h here so this is the potential energy this is the kinetic energy just before impact that is half m1 v1 square and this is the kinetic energy just before impact here h2 will become zero so in this equation u1 is zero h2 is zero and h1 will be uh, h so this equation will become mg h equal to half m1 v1 square. So from this v1 is equal to square root of 2gh. So this is the uh, equation to find velocity of the hammer just before impact. So this is m1 gh equal to half m1 v1 square. So this equation will become v1 equal to square root of 2gh. So this is the equation to find velocity of hammer just before impact. So just before impact, this is hammer uh, mass M1 and it has uh, initial vel uh, velocity of V1. So this is the pile mass is M2 and its initial velocity U2 is 0. So after impact, just after impact, the M1 that is hammer rebounds and it gains a velocity of V1 prime in the upward direction. And at the same time, the pile will gain a velocity of v2 in the downward direction. Now let us apply conservation of momentum equation for this. So <clears throat> for this we have m1 v1 plus m2 u2 equal to m1 v1 prime plus m2 v2. So in this equation u2 is 0 and v1 prime since it is moving upwards so we take it negative. So this equation will become m1 v1 equal to minus m1 v1 prime plus m2 v2. So the coefficient of restitution uh, can be written as E equal to modulus of v2 minus minus v1 prime by u2 minus u1. So this symbol modulus is uh, to make it positive. So in this equation u1 will be v1 that is the initial velocity of uh, hammer v1. So Using these two equations and solving for v1 prime and v2, we will find v1 prime and v2. Now let us find S that is the distance moved by this um, pile against the ground resistance R. So this pile gains a velocity v2 after impact and let us apply work energy equation. So on this pile we have weight W2 acting downwards and the ground resistance r is acting upwards and a velocity v2 is acting downwards. So work energy equation will become w2 minus r into s equal to half m2 v2 square. So s is the distance moved in a single blow. So 
from this equation s can be written as s equal to m2 v2 square by 2 into w2 minus r so for uh, since the value of w2 will be less compared to r we can neglect w2 in this equation so the this equation will become s equal to m2 v2 square by 2r so m2 can be written as w2 by g so again this equation for uh, will become as w2 v2 square by 2g into r let us see loss of kinetic energy during the impact so initial kinetic energy of the system is half m1 v1 square and final kinetic energy of the system will be half m1 v1 prime square plus half m2 v2 square so the loss of kinetic energy during impact is equal to half into m1 v1 square minus m1 v1 prime square minus m2 v2 square now let us see impulse of pile on hammer so first let us see impulse momentum diagram here so initially the weight w1 that is a hammer weight w1 will be moving with a velocity of v1 downwards just before impact so at the time of impact the weight uh, the forces impulsive forces will be the weight w1 will be acting downwards the own weight of the hammer and r that is ground resistance that is transferred by uh, pile on this hammer will be acting upwards so the final momentum of the hammer will be uh, its own weight uh, acting downwards and a velocity it gains a velocity of v1 prime so velocity is in the opposite direction now let us write impulse momentum equation for this one so impulse momentum equation will be m1 v1 plus integral of sigma f dt equal to m1 v1 prime so uh, let us substitute this uh, impulsive forces in this equation so this equation will become m1 v1 plus integral of w1 minus r into dt equal to m1 v1 prime so here we can neglect w1 since uh, this will also be uh, comparably very less than this uh, ground resistance so this equation will become m1 v1 minus integral of r dt equal to m1 v1 prime so this is the impulse momentum equation so from this equation we can find impulse uh, generated by pile on hammer written uh, can be written as integral of r dt equal to m1 into v1 minus v1 prime impulse imparted by hammer on pile can also be calculated using similar method but uh, the impulse will be in the opposite direction and the value will be same as this one time during which the impulse happens can be calculated uh, by dividing this side of the equation by ground resistance now let us find time during which the pile is in motion so first let us see this impulse momentum diagram for this pile so initially the weight of the pile w2 and its initial velocity u2 is zero and there is a force uh, its own weight w will be acting downwards and ground resistance is acting upwards here so these are the impulsive forces and final momentum uh, can be found here so here the weight w2 is uh, moving downwards with a velocity v2 so now let us write impulse momentum equation for this system so here we can write m2 u2 plus integral of sigma f dt equal to m2 v2 so in this equation u2 that is initial velocity of pile is equal to zero so this equation after substituting the impulsive forces that is w2 minus r will become w2 minus r into t equal to w2 by g into v2 so w2 by g is m2 so this equation after further simplification will become t that is time during which the pile is in motion uh, can be written as t equal to w2 v2 by g into w2 minus r so in this we can in this equation also we can neglect w2 here since it will be comparably very less than ground resistance r so this equation will become t equal to w2 v2 by g into r using this equation we can find time during which the pile is in motion after having derived all the necessary equations now let us solve a problem so in this problem hammer weight w1 is 8900 newtons 
and pile weight the w2 is 4450 newtons and average ground resistance r is uh, 267000 newtons so you can see here it is comparably very high than these two weights so coefficient of restitution uh, in this problem is taken as 0.25 and delta uh, h is taken as 3 meters so in this problem we need to find how many how many blows of hammer will be required to drive the pile to the depth of 0.3 meters so first let us find uh, let us find uh, velocity of hammer just before impact so v1 equal to square root of 2 gh after substituting the values and simplification we get v1 velocity of hammer just before impact is 7.67 meters per second velocity of pile that is v2 after impact can be calculated using these two equations this is a conservation of momentum equation at the time of impact and coefficient of restitution equation by substituting the values uh, in these two equations and solving for v1 prime and v2 we can find v1 prime and v2 so the equations from the previous slide will be reduced to v2 equal to m1 v1 into 1.25 by m1 plus m2 so after substituting all the values and simplification we can calculate v2 that is velocity of pile after impact is 6.39 meters per second so now the delta that is distance uh, traveled by pile in a single blow can be calculated as delta equal to m2 v2 square by 2r so here uh, you can see that i have neglected w so after substituting all the values and uh, simplification we get delta equal to 0.035 meter so in a single blow the pile is uh, driven to 0.035 meters depth so for uh, to drive the pile to 0.3 meters so we need to divide uh, 0.3 by this delta so this will become 8.65 so 9 so we require 9 blows to drive this pile to a depth of 0.3 meters so v1 prime that is velocity of hammer after impact can be calculated by substituting v2 value in the previous equations uh, equations uh, discussed in the previous slides so in this problem v1 prime is not required so i am not calculating that that's all for today's video if you like this content please like share and subscribe thanks for watching